I bet you Fenway Park doesn't feel right without the racial slurs being rolled everywhere. No, they said they're going to take care of that. They're going to pipe in the racial slurs through the stadium audio. So it's going to feel very authentic and stuff. And I think they have an automatic machine that's going to throw bananas. So, you know, you're going to get that real Fenway experience. I, it's going to be sad when they got to play like an MP3 or Sweet Caroline, though. It's going to break so many hearts. Oh, oh, oh. That song does not slap. Why do white people think Sweet Caroline is... Uh, Sweet Caroline is pop smoke for, for white people. Yes. <laughs> white people are like, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Welcome to my clam chowder. Oh, rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Thanks. Listen, safety first. I remember one time we were supposed to drive to Boston or something, and they were like, we're going to pick him up first, and then we're going to pick you up. And I was like, all right, cool. They were like, we'll be at your house at like 12. So at 12, they come to my house, and I was like, where's Meryl? They was like, he, he's not been ready. Like, he's like his kids and shit is going crazy so they picked me up they was like Mirror will be ready when we get there we get there and it's like quiet in front of this house and I'm like, I'm like cool 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 the door opens and like one of the kids comes out naked and it's just like running around then you see another kid like fucking with the blinds and Heather opens the door like get back here and like the kids like daddy don't leave don't leave and he's like trying to leave. they won't let him leave and one of the kids has the luggage and I was I was in the car like yo this is fucking wild like Talk to him. They spin it, my nigga. They spin it. Hold on, let me check the mic levels. It's good. Is it? Okay. Yeah, you got it. Let's make sure. <laughs> you know, technical Jesus. I'm here for another edition of Office Hours, except we're not in the office. Shout out to the digital crew. They are here. They made this happen. They're socially distancing and they're in safety, so they don't have to worry about my spittle. Those unemployment checks are gonna stop coming like next week, right? I, think. I would not know anything about that. It's not like I'm getting unemployment checks under a fake social security number that Miro's uncle gave me. Shout out to the resources going where they deserve to go. There's no real like sharp point to make about it. It's sad because people say that's, that's like a radical idea, and like if that's what we think radical means, like this country is far behind. Because like my cousins in England, when uh, they they call it the dole, like when you're getting money from the government, but like you'd apply. Like sometimes it was the same day you get it, or sometimes it was like you text message something and the check will come right to you. Like their system is set up. This here, I know people that have filed for unemployment and have still haven't gotten anything, or like people getting like the wrong checks and like it's just a mess. Charlie is upset because he he's looking at me like, when the fuck are you leaving? Because we have been inside for like 20 weeks and the cat is just like, yo, what happened to this apartment I used to have? Why don't you go to work? Cats have that energy like, yo, like a roommate who's just like, yo, I need my space. Dogs are just like, yo, I'm always happy to see you. Like if I leave the apartment to take the garbage out when I come back, Mac is like, you've been gone for 10,000 years. It's like, oh, thank you, I need this positivity. I was super amped today. I got to bust out the Dykeman joints. These are the Dykeman joints, right? No, the um, Rucker joints, excuse me. Yeah, 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 we, it's a, it's, we a good, it's a good thing La Marina closed, all right? We remember, y'all was acting up. Y'all was, you've been acting up on quarantine, indictment. Sheesh. Rest in peace, kinfolk. You know, we all have kinfolk stories. None of them are good. You were legally required by, I believe it was Bloomberg. You had to, as a New Yorker, spend at least one night at kinfolk and get into an argument that wasn't really a serious argument, but at the time you felt it was serious. Uh-oh, dirt bikes. Yeah. Actually, that's an ATV. We get a lot of those around here. That's the big uh, entertainment around here, watching the cops try to stop groups of ATVs and dirt bikes, and they usually ride like 20 to 30 deep. So the cops have been shutting down the Third Avenue Bridge to catch them, and then they'll just drive on the sidewalk and they'll run you over. And uh, yeah. Sorry guys, my neighbor Toby McGuire is being so loud. This is so embarrassing. It happens all the time. <laughs> Namaste. Quarantine has been good and working on myself, you know, trying to be a better person, trying to chill and stuff. I've uh, been missing the staff, been missing the audience, working on the podcast, grinding, trying to eat new foods, shout out to Daily Harvest, you know, we out here. Kale gang, you're, you're all been working out, been on the Peloton, you see, you see the legs, baby, you know what I'm saying, that, those hit rides, a little Tabata, I've been doing yoga. I, you'll be happy to know I can successfully do crow, I can do bridge, uh, I can do shavasana. Sometimes you do shavasana like this, you lay on your back like this and you start crying because it's like all the toxic energy comes out of you and then you're like, namaste. I just be drinking like uh, juice press, pressed juices and water 
Uh, I still drink beer, but not like um, the amount I was drinking before the quarantine because that was just like, you're already stressed from the quarantine. You shouldn't just be like drinking, sadly, because y'all don't want to wear masks and y'all want to stay inside and y'all having little secret day parties in Bushwick. I know about those. We're forever going to be having Corona. We're not going to have Thanksgiving. We're not going to have Christmas, Kwanzaa. You know, Kwanzaa was supposed to be so big this year. Because y'all want to go and two-step to Faith Evans and Fat Man Scoop while eating quesadillas. I never knew I had a love like this. No, that song's like 40 years old. At least wait for Bobby Schmurder to get out. Like that would be, you know, that's worth celebrating. People are doing a lot of dumb shit. If you out here smoking hookah on the streets, you, 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 that's not right. You hurting your lungs. Now your lungs is fighting the hookah smoke and the corona? Come on, give your lungs a chance. A lot of ugly people aren't wearing masks and that hurts my heart. I've said this earlier and this is a PSA. If you are an mug, cover your face. It's not about corona, it's about you being a dub. Sincerely, Surgeon General Jesus Nice. If you wear a mask, that's that makes you beautiful because you care about other people and it's a way for us to see that. That was profound, you got that from yoga. Yeah, listen, listen, it's about the journey. It's about the journey accepting your wins but not holding on to them taking a lesson learned from achieving them and then moving forward i'm a whole new person now <laughs> and see i got my mask see, 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 see. trying to keep it trying to keep it clean shout out to mia khalifa being in rami need more pino stars in comedy we're gonna do a reboot of the nanny and it's gonna be me and sarah J. I i guess sarah J is the nanny i don't really remember the nanny I've much movie the movie oh yeah he's like hey hey mr j can i blow you before you go to work shout out to all the people out there writing the amazing dialogue for the beginning of porn movies you don't get enough recognition and a lot of times we skip past your work but you know you set the scene you set the scene and some of you i know it's your heart and soul to do the setup about the stepdaughter about to argue with the stepmom or like the babysitter's car broke down i really appreciate porn scenes that have writing at the end of the scene they just don't end with like the homeboy just busting on shorty's face like there's resolution like maybe the car gets fixed maybe they do pay for the pizza you know maybe the stepbrother and step sister are going to continue doing this in the next scene on brazzers you know it's whatever it's whatever continuity baby namaste and me i'm nasty me that, think about it. Na namaste nasty me sushi yoga here you go shavasana